Good morning everyone, welcome to my next video about the Dell Latitude 3330. In this video I'm going to be installing an operating system called Linux Mint. Now Li Linux Mint is a very very popular um, variation of, well it's a very popular operating system um, within the Linux community and it's also well known for working very well with older laptops. So I thought let's see if we can install it and let's test it a little bit and see what it, how it works with this latitude. So let's crack on. I'm going to turn this laptop on. As soon as the display lights up, press the F12 key and let's come in and do the installation. Now I did try to install this Linux Mint on this laptop a couple of days ago and about halfway through the installation I had an error. So um, it will be interesting to see how it goes today. Okay, so that was fairly rapid. Now on desktop you can see that there is an icon to install uh, Mint properly on the desktop, on this laptop, instead of just running it from the USB. So let me do that. Okay, first of all it's taken us through a couple of language options, so I'm just going to do English UK, these are all choosing the default ones. Okay, next um, it wants me to connect to the to my Wi-Fi, so I'll just pause the video here for a minute. Okay, so I've successfully connected to my Wi-Fi. Okay, now as I said, I actually um, tried to install this Mint onto this laptop a couple of days ago and it failed. And so I then, um, away from the video, I then installed it successfully just to test it. And so this is what's happening here. So I'm just going to completely erase all the disk and the hard drive and install Mint fresh on this laptop. It's just giving me another warning message just so I know not to do something really stupid. Okay, and this is where it's trying to track where, find out where I'm located in the world. London is close enough, so let's go with that. Press, press continue. Okay, so let's just put some Okay, I'll just put a quick password in there. And here we go. So at the bottom you can see you've got a green progress bar which will gradually move across and then at the top you've actually got a slideshow which kind of introduces you to some basic elements of Linux Mint. So let's have a look. Okay so you can use Firefox, 
you can get your Netflix and your YouTube you can also um, use Spotify on here there's an app for Spotify and the other thing is is obviously this Linux Mint is nothing to do with Windows and it's nothing to do with Chrome Flex so you've got um, different software for for your music so they've got a piece of they've got an app called Rhythm Box here for your music which most of you won't have heard of before and then in terms of watching movies and videos um, Windows Movie Maker is a very very big one but of course that's not on here VLC is a very well um, very highly recommended uh, movie and video player and that's available on here and then they've got another option called MPV which most of you probably won't have heard of and also celluloid as well probably again another unknown app but this is all part of a different operating system and it's yeah it's part of being new and different isn't it and as we move on in terms of photos there's some there's some great apps here um, but if you're a Windows user you probably won't have heard of them GIMP is one of the most um, well recognized alternatives to Adobe Photoshop so it's a really quite a heavy weight of a piece of piece of software and it's free and then in terms of some of your stay connected your, your communication apps you've got Skype and WhatsApp which are very well known and then below those you've got some more um, other apps which are less recognizable and then in terms of the office software Microsoft Word of course won't be on here but there is another great piece of software called LibreOffice which is totally compatible with uh, Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint as well and it's what you can install on here and again it's totally free And again, there's there's a recognisable Minecraft. Obviously, is a very familiar um, game. You can play that on here. And then Dropbox, you would have heard of Steam, less so, and Blender, also another piece of software that you would have wouldn't have um, recognised. Okay, so so far this installation has taken about eight minutes. Now, for those of you who are, you know, who like using Windows and have done for some time, then there are ways of either installing Windows software and using it on Linux Mint using a piece of software called Wine, or also using um, a piece of software called VirtualBox. You can run a copy of Windows within copy of Linux Mint. So that's all a bit um, confusing but there is some compatibility with with Windows.
So this part of the presentation tells us that um, Linux Mint will keep being updated and you know will receive updates in the same way that Windows does. And these updates are important in terms of keeping the um, software safe and preventing hackers from able to come in and also making sure that the software runs as smoothly as possible without any bugs. And this slide is telling you all about how you can find help if you end up downloading and using Linux Mint on a Dell Latitude 3330. There's various different ways that you can receive help, either from a user guide or from online communities.
Okay, fantastic. So it's telling us there the installation is complete. So I'm just going to restart it. Um, yeah, restart it just to test that it's installed successfully. So let me just take my USB pen out. Okay, turn it off. Let's restart it and hopefully Linux Mint will load up successfully. Okay, perfect. It's successfully um, installed and um, loaded Linux Mint. And it did it with no errors. So thank you for watching this video. Um, or also just to say that that installation took around 16 minutes. So that was impressive. Thank you for watching this video. Talk to you soon.